previously on The Longest Journey. Wait, no! There was a candy jar! There was a candy jar! I want some candies! Oh, God, it's awful! It tastes like mouthwash! Oh, no! It's a sticky, half-eaten piece of candy. Oh, and now? Oh, could I eat that? I'm not particularly hungry. Oh, dear. Oh dear, that's oh that's gross. Let's go back to the cafe. Oh. Okay, let's see what we can do. Um, I'm gonna look Fresh at the bread, bread basket. I love the food in this place. We have a great kitchen. Uh, apart from candies, apparently, uh, sweets are awful. Let's have a look at the bread. Let's take some. <laughs> Sorry, Marcus and Emma. Oh, it's Emma. Of course, it's Emma. Oh, okay, that's all right. That's then. my, well, Emma's friend, really, Marcus. He's a Vava student as well. I thought he was a priest. I thought he was like a balding priest. There's a fat guy here. Let's talk to Emma. When she's not working or out of it, Marcus. God damn it. My best friend Emma. God damn it. My best friend, Emma. Fine, I missed something. Never mind. Settle this one for us, April. When did Roin Dale release Sidetracked? Oh. Oh, four. Right after the Morning Star exile. Those sons of bitches. With blood on their boots. Yeah. <laughs> Told you so, Marcus. You said oh, three. I was closer than you. Oh, seven. And you call yourself a fan. I don't. Did you speak with Zach today? Why? He was upset. Called you a stuck-up bitch. He what? You gotta be kidding me. I wasn't even that rude to him. He thinks so. So that even if you came crawling to his door, he wouldn't give you the time of day. Said you called him an asshole. Um. Oh, God. I really don't know when to shut my mouth, do I? Who cares? It's Zack. He hates you, so what? No great loss. That's true. So, what else is going on? What are you doing this afternoon? Um... <laughs> yeah, I I'm, I'm gonna go. Actually, I don't care about you. I'm looking for Cortez. <laughs> um, what, what are, are you, you doing? doing? Staying here. What else? I'm meeting a friend later, but that's not until 9. We're waiting for Isabel and then we're gonna eat. But I guess you're not hungry. Oh, fuck you! No. Figures. I don't know why I even bother asking. Hey, I came! Fine, fuck Actually, you then. I came by to see if I could find Cortez. What's with you and this guy? You'd rather spend time with him than us? I have to find out what the message means. Don't look at me. I don't know anything except what I already told you. Ask Charlie, he spoke with Cortez earlier. I know, I've already asked him. Um, who's this friend you're meeting later? Who's this friend you're meeting later? Don't tell me it's that guy you were out with last night. Are you gonna tell me I shouldn't get involved with men like him? No, no, of course not. I'm not your... You don't need me to tell you that, Emma. Well, I wish you would, because you're right. I shouldn't, he's a bastard. But he's so cute and charming and... You know, very good in bed. I, I just can't help myself. But he's not a keeper. Don't worry about that. It's just this thing. Just a fling. Wow. Wow. Wow, you are the worst. You are the worst. You are my... You are just, like, everything I hate about women. Just right there. Right there. Fuck you. Mind if I ask you some questions, Emma? Like, I don't tell you everything that's going on anyway? Of course you can ask me questions. Like, duh. What's your, uh, take on Cortez? My take on Cortez? What's that, like a diplomatic way of saying what the F is this guy's glitch? Sure, let's go with that one. You know, I think Cortez is a barrel of laughs, in a good way. Everybody thinks they got him all figured out, you know? Like he's the resident weirdo. But I know that just ain't true. I've talked with Cortez and the guy is brilliant. He's weird, yeah, and he's up in the clouds, and I think he believes in aliens, which is cool, but girl, he's smart. I mean, 
I'm not talking professor smart here. I'm talking real life, seen it all, been there, done that, smart, useful smart, experienced smart. And ooh, I gotta tell you, the guy's cultured. Ask yeah. him about anything, art, music, movies, books. He's current on most topics, which scares me because it seems he's always just, I don't know, hanging around doing nothing. He rarely goes anywhere. <laughs> it's like he's waiting for something. Or someone. He's waiting for me. Yeah, maybe Jerry Garcia. No, he's waiting for me. <laughs> Bad. No, I don't think he's a doper. I mean, listen to the guy. What he says may sound a little out there, but the way he says it. No, he's not on Amethyn, that's for sure. No. And one more thing. He is cute. Jesus. He's what? Cute. Emma, he's like 60. Did you ever see his eyes? Those are not the eyes of an old man. And so what if he's 60? He's better looking than most of the guys I date and so much nicer. Then I think you've been swimming in the shallow end of the gene pool for too long, Emma. I mean, come on, a 60-year-old screwball with a ponytail and an exotic accent? Hello? <laughs> well, we'll see. Yeah, I've, I've got to say, I'm, I've only spoke to Cortez once, but so far he's my favorite character in this game. Um, did you speak with Charlie? Did you speak with Charlie today? Yeah, for a few minutes. Why? Nothing. Just wondered is all. Uh, April, did he say anything to you at all? About what? About... Mm, nothing. I mean, I don't know anything. Which isn't true because I, I don't lie, but he... Ugh, forget it. If we were having this conversation in a movie, I'd be going, like... Shit, girl, get your act together! Open your eyes! But I don't think that's a good idea. Not in real life. Because real life has a nasty habit of hurting people's feelings. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Real life is a bitch. That's why I like films and video games. Just, just play... Yeah, get away from real life. That's yeah. Sculpture. Did you finish your sculpture for the exhibit? Pretty much. I'm happy with it, and I know that if I go back and keep working on it, I'll just kill it. So I think I'll leave it alone. You? You know what? Don't ask. I'm praying it'll finish itself one of these days. Sure. Could happen. It could so happen. But I wouldn't count on it. <sighs> I'll have it ready in time. Yes, you will, or I'll kick your ass so hard that you'll... Okay, I got it, I got it. Thanks for the inspiration. Thanks, Emma. Thanks for what? For talking to you? Girlfriend, what the hell is the matter with you? Snap out of it. Wow. Yeah, okay, I've got to go. On. See you around, stranger. Okay, so your ideas on men, I hate you for that hate every woman that thinks like that, that just thinks, yeah, I'll string this guy along because he's cute and it won't go anywhere. Hate that. Happens to me all the fucking time. Well, used to happen to me all the fucking time. Not anymore. I'm clever now. I'm very clever now. But, yep, hate you for that. But actually, you seem like a nice friend, so that's annoying. That's... It's, it's, it's like this game actually thought about character development and things. Which is annoying because it's 1999. You should just have 1D Tom's characters. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know why I clicked on that. Let's just get out of here. Come on, April. Let's go. Stop ranting about men and women and sex. I guess we could check the subway for uh, for Cortez because we haven't really explored that yet. So, yeah, we'll, we'll go to the subway. Check that out. April, how does that sound? April. Oh, you're doing that slow walk thing. Okay. Wait a minute. He's pointing a gun at a point of... S uh, at some skateboarders? Wow! Wow! You are just... such a bad policeman officer. And now he's pointing his gun in the sky. Yep! That's... Fucked up, man. Um, yeah, so I'm, I think there's nothing that I can pick up around here. It's just rubbish. So I will go down to the subway. Because this is the place that I didn't go last time I was here. And I've already explained that, but I'll go down to the subway anyway. 
Here I am, with metal detectors and... Oh, no sparks. That's not good. That's not good. Can I get on a subway thing? I don't think I can. Oh, into the train. Yeah, I can if I wanted to, but I'm gonna explore first. Oh, what? Uh-oh. Oh. I have to get scanned. Jumping gates in the Newport subway is a corporate offense liable to get me five years behind bars. I'm lucky. What? I have to get scanned? Oh, okay. Let's have it's a look. A gene scanner. It, um, scans your genes, puts your genetic signature into a database, and allows you through all corresponding gates. Okay. We'll use it then. Um, let's do a weekly I'll get a thing. weekly pass, just in case. Um. It's a small camera. Right. Oh, right. Okay. So I need my card, cash card. Uh, God damn it! I'm that. sorry, but the fare is fifteen dollars. Oh. You have one dollar left on your cash card. This message was brought to you by the Bocamba Mercer Company. 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 <laughs> Oh, I have enough money. I need to go and get paid. Enough money on my card. I have to remember to get paid for last week's work at the cafe. Let's see. According to the instructions, I push a button with a stylized hand, wave my cash card in front of the round thingy, and then stand still for a few seconds. Good. I can stand still. Oh, okay. So I need to go and get paid. Okay, I'll be back. After I've got paid, this is going to take the longest time. Oh, so many puns! I'm so clever! I'm so clever! Okay, so I need to go and find Stan. I think that was his name. I need to go and find Stan to get paid. And I'm guessing he's the fat guy at the bar. I'm guessing this is... Wait, what? So something... Stanley! My boss, Stan. A hard man with a soft... Nah. He's just a callous bastard. Oh. Uh, I knew that. <laughs> Wait, so I'm actually talking out loud. That's not my thoughts? I thought that was my thoughts. That's kind of cool. What are you doing here? I want to get paid. You ain't working this afternoon, are you? I don't want my employees work 24 hours a day. Go, get sleep. But I'm just... Damn woman, do I have to babysit you? It's nice to see you too, Stanley. No, I'm not working today. I just came by to... Oh, don't ever say those two words when I'm around. I don't think my horse can take it. You? And nice? <laughs> That's funny. No, working and not. Don't use those two words in the same sentence. Damn, I get creeps even when I say them. Just give me money. I'd like to get paid. Damn, woman, don't you know I got a migraine already? Paid? God damn it. Why'd they have to make that word sound so obscene? Listen, why don't you leave old Stan alone, huh? They make me feel a whole hell of a lot better. Choo! Chew, be good, little girl, hmm? God damn it. No, no, pay me. I'd like to get paid, though. Mighty man, a woman. You really know how to rub it in. God damn it. Yeah, all right. But your time sheet? Uh, no, I don't. God damn it. Yes? 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 Let's see it. God damn, you think I'm gonna take your word for a woman? God damn it. I don't think I have my timesheet, do I? I've gotta go and get my timesheet. God fucking damn it. <sighs> right, let's go all the way back. Ah, oh, so that's Charlie's apartment. Can I look at it? Charlie's apartment. His place is twice as big as mine, with a private bathroom and a huge bed. 
guess he likes his creature comforts. Uh, can we go in? Nobody home. Oh, I could have done that this morning. Oh well. Let's look at Zach's apartment. That's Zach's room. I've never been in there, and I pray I never will. Shall we bug him? Nuh -uh. I'm not knocking on that door unless it's absolutely necessary, and frankly, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Okay, let's just go in my apartment. Okay, so where's my timesheet? I worry oh. about the exhibition coming up in two weeks. This is the net result of my work. A pile of nothing. And it's not even a big pile of nothing. Hmm. It's not even a timesheet on there, maybe? God damn it. Um. That's my work. It's supposed to be a portrait of my life study teacher. But I think he might disagree. Maybe it's on the shelves. shelves? Why the frick am I gonna get my timesheet? Why is it not on your desk? Is it in your diary? Oh! I didn't realize I could pick that up. <gasps> oh! I've been a diary intermittently since I was five years old. Not the same one, of course. I started this one, I think, April of this year. Oh. There's a loose sheet of paper in here. Hey, it's my timesheet from the cafe. I completely forgot I put it in here. Good thing I found it, because I'm broke. Great. Awesome. Okay, Stan, I'm coming. Okay, then. So, timesheet. Wait. Stanley. Stanley. There you go. Here's my timesheet. Now pay me, bitch. Here you are, my timesheet. Don't say that word, you louch. You're killing me. What is this? Huh? No, 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 no. Did I sign this? What are you thinking? So? At least it doesn't look like it's been forged. Uh, thanks. Thanks? Where's my money? <laughs> oh, you ain't getting it now. Next week, honey. I write down this amount in my ledger. Don't you worry your head from it. No. That's not how it works. I need it now. I need the money now, Stanley. Yeah, yeah, we all need money now. That ain't gonna happen. Next week, I tell you. No. It's... Um... Next week? You promise? Sure, sure, I promise. Next week. If that falls through the week after, but you'll get it sooner mm, or no. later. No. That's get not ha- that. I quit. You're quitting? You can't quit. You work for me. Nobody quits this job, honey. I can quit. And I'm quitting. I quit. Damn woman, you know how hard it is to find people to take a crappy job like this one? I need you. Just as much as you need the money? Alright, Jesus, I give you your damn money. What was he? Fifty bucks? Three hundred and seventy-five dollars, Stanley. Cash. Oh, sure, cash. Three hundred. Are you sure? I pay you guys way too much. All right, give me your CC. Aha, there we go. See, that worked. I just needed to be firm with him. Thank you, Stanley. Oh, that... I'm sure. Whatever. That there was a flaw. Hey, just, I mean it. You free tonight? Wanna pull a shift? Sandra. She out sick and I need a replacement pronto. How about it? Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, I need the money. Great, hon. I'll see you here later. 
Don't forget. Oh, because you said don't forget, I probably will. Ooh, did, that's... That, um... Oh, conversation log. Oh, that's cool. Oh, diary. Um, oh, it's my birthday. Oh, this is things you can read. Huh. Hey, all guys aren't complete idiots. And actually, yeah, it's, that's what I was like when I was 18. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm 18, but I don't feel any different. It's just a number, I guess. Okay. Oh, this isn't actual Venice in Italy. That's been confusing me for a long time. That makes sense why Cortez isn't Italian. Oh. I'm a fucking moron. I really don't know geography. I, I was like, I'm sure Newport, I'm sure Venice isn't is in Italy and Newport isn't in Venice. That's not a real place. But it's not. There's a Venice apparently somewhere in America where Newport is. Okay. Right. Whoa. You literally just left without telling your parents where you're going. You're only 18. Jesus. Hmm. You must either have some serious family problems or you're just a hormonal teenager. I don't know. You seem fairly clever. This is the day after my birthday. Wait, is this today's day? Wait, this is taking place the day after my... 218th birthday. That's fucking weird. And this is a birthday present and everything. Fuck. Hmm. Right, okay, so that's kind of cool. That this obviously, this diary updates the more information you get. I like it. I like it a lot. Thanks, Stanley. I needed the money. Oh! The jukebox! It's Charlie a said jukebox. something about the jukebox. According to Stan, it's an original. Almost 200 years old. I don't know. It looks like a replica to me. A good replica, but still... Oh, wait, no, Charlie said the poster next to the jukebox was where Cortez Rowing was looking. Presents growing pains. Exhibition by and for kids and teenagers. <gasps> Could this be what Cortez was talking about? Where kids visualize their dreams? Uh, I think this may be it. Where's the Roma Gallery located? Um, I have no idea. I'm guessing we've got to go to the subway. Let's very awkwardly and slowly walk there. Especially now we've got money, I can afford a subway pass, right? Right. Come on, April, this is boring. Come on, let's get walking to the bridges and then to the bridges. You gotta walk to. Is there any way I can speed this up? How about this button? This button? This. How about this button? <gasps> that button works! <gasps> Wait. Wait. It works! I'm running! Still gonna take a long time, but I'm actually running. <sighs> this is gonna make things so much better. Found out what the run button was. Okay, let's go down to the subway. No, let's go down to the. Su oh, I think escape also skips dialogue as well. Wait, yeah, it probably does. Uh, use it. Scan the card. Stand still. Don't move. And that's it. Right? $15 subtracted from cash card. 
You are now free to travel on all Metro Line subways for exactly one week. Yay! And remember, genetic forgery is a federal crime. Keep your genes clean. Have a nice day. Uh, I will keep them clean. Thank you. Okay, cool. Now I can go in here. Yay! Got the green light. Awesome. Let's have a look at the sparky sparks. There's a high voltage cable running parallel with the rail, and something's gotten stuck between them. Oh. It looks like a large iron key. Can... can you grab it? Is there any way to get it? I would like the key. I would really like the key. Can I... But... Okay, wait, there's the key. Can I take it? It looks like a large iron key. Um... I might die, but let's go for it. I'd have to get down there to reach it with my hands, but with that frayed high voltage cable. Okay. So I didn't brush my teeth this morning just so I could be fried bacon with a pretty smile. I'll have to find some other way to get the key. Okay, so I need to. Oh, this is an electricity thing over here. It's fine, April. Go over here. And then we we'll turn off the electricity. Maybe. Yeah. Somewhere in here. Maybe. Um, okay, maybe not there. Let's go over this way. Maybe there's some electricity over here. Um, no, okay then. Maybe we, we just... Oh, wait. What's the gates scan everybody who goes in and out of the station and compares their genetic signature with the database. If you haven't paid your fare, the alarm goes off and the cops show. Oh, okay. Better not do that. Let's just get on the train then, I guess. Where to? I'm not getting on the train oh. until I know exactly where I'm going. Um. I need to find out where the cat. Oh, that's something I can ask people. I wonder if Charlie knows. Let's go back. You know, April, you told me you didn't know where the gallery place was. So I don't know why I suddenly expected to go to the subway and just get on a train and go there. I have to ask you, Charlie, don't I? Hi, Charlie. Hi, Charlie. What's up, April? Um... That one. Do you have any idea where I can find the Roma Gallery? The Roma Gallery? I seem to remember the name from somewhere. God damn it. No, sorry. <sighs> they have a poster next to the jukebox advertising an exhibit. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember they put up that poster. The address must be written down somewhere, yeah? Did you check? Oh. I'm an idiot. I'll see you later, Charlie. Thanks, Charlie. Let's try the poster again. I guess. It's a poster ad for an exhibition called Growing Pains. At the Roma Gallery. Yeah, but... Um... Oh, there's complimentary tickets. Complimentary student pass. Cool. I like anything that's complimentary. Take it. I never say no to a complimentary ticket. Nope. Me neither. Cool. So let's have a look at the ticket. Maybe that'll tell me where it's to go. It's the address. The gallery's located near the Watertown Bridge. Uh... It's all the way over in West Venice, if I remember correctly. I'm going to have to catch the Metro Line subway to get there. I was close. I was close. I sort of knew what was happening. Let's read some more diary. Well, I got the ticket. That's cool. Let's go to the gallery, I think. Unless you've got anything else to say, Emma. Nope. See you later. Okay then, train. Come on. Let's get on you. Let's, um, let's get on the train. Get on the train. Go. Just get on the train. Nice. Oh, can I interact with things on the train? I can. Sweet old ladies just ain't what they used to be. Oh, they are getting older. Um, yep. 
anything up here? Subway map? Oh! Hold on. What is this? Just... Oh! I'm an idiot. You know... Oh, he's gone now. He's actually gone now. So, old lady's still on the train, but the guy's gone. You know, I shouldn't be allowed to play point-and-click games, because I just click things. So, this is the room. Yeah, let's go there. Oh. The poor guy's drugged out on Amethyn. They say the first motor function to suffer is always rhythm. That's rhythmic. It goes with the beat. The poor guy's drugged out. Sort of. Big sound from such a small box. Another victim of Amethyn. Amethyn. Wow. So obviously he's just humping the wall or dancing with the wall. I don't know. Newport Transit Systems. I'm guessing there's a lot of drugs in the future. A lot of future aid drugs. I sort of this. Let's go there. Bye, people. Nice to have met you. <gasps> oh, I'm at the gallery. Oh, sir. Sir. He's asleep. Let's just walk I'll in. I'll just leave my ticket here then, shall I? Yes. Yes, I guess I'll do that. That. I would have just uh, walked in. Um. Slow day, I guess. Yep. There's absolutely nothing out there. Nothing. Oh, there's just a short, nude creature with a snout. Very inspiring. <laughs> it's a pointy-edged swan. Huh. Anything else I can click? Any more information, or is that, that it? Just... Oh! Hey, Cortez. How are you? For the life of me, I can't figure out why Cortez wants to meet me. I want to meet him. Because your friend's statue came to life and you're really confused about it. About time you showed up. Yeah, I know. It about took me time? ages. I spent more than... Mira, this painting. Right here. I'm not... Look. What? Um. Okay. Why? Just look at it. Um. Go on then, I'll look at the painting. Um, it is nice. It's nice work. It's very nice. But there's more to it than nice. Keep looking. Okay. Who's the artist? A boy named Warren Hughes. Not so long ago, I knew him and his family quite well. But he does not paint anymore. Oh, why not? What am I looking for? What do you see? I see... Um, a guy hugging a girl? I see an oil painting of two humans locked in an embrace. I just see a face and hair. I see a statement on loss. Jesus. That's such a douchebag thing to say. Um, uh, it's just an oil painting of two humans locked in an embrace. I don't see that. I just see a face and hair. That's all I see. I see art. <laughs> I see art. Art, yes. And beyond that. Beyond art. Um. What? Illusion. illusion. Skill and imagination allow the artist to create an illusion. But that is only skin deep. Beneath the illusion, what else is there? I'm not gonna lie here, but... I have no idea what the fuck you are on about, Cortez. Truth? Truth? Truth. Exactly. A deeper truth. This painting, this particular work of art, speaks a deeper truth. It has a soul. How can a painting have a soul? It has a soul because it has an identity. It has a heart. The memory of this painting will survive beyond this moment. It will linger in your mind, become part of the tapestry of your subconscious. It has made a lasting impression on you, and you're not quite sure why. 
It's just a painting by some kid. It's not as if it's a Picasso or a Monet. Now you're arguing technique. Not every painting by Van Gogh or Michelangelo is real art either, although they all demonstrate great technique and, and craftsmanship. And the scribbled drawings of a five-year-old child are rarely technically impressive, but they may still have a soul. They may still be real art. So you're saying real art is not defined by the skill of the artist? Then what is art? If just anybody can create something more real than artists who've spent their entire lives developing their skills? Art is still the work of artists. And skill, craftsmanship, technique, those things are critical to the success of an artist's work. But alone, those things are merely pretense. For something to be real, to be truthful, the artist must transfer, shift part of him or herself into the work to transcend the illusion and reach for the truth of art. And what is the truth of art? Who knows? I've been asking myself that question for years. Excuse me? You don't even know? And what's all this about all the questions <coughs> and lectures on truth and illusion? For that matter, why did you ask me to come down here in the first place? Because... Actually, you didn't even ask me to come down. I spent my entire afternoon traveling all over Venice, deciphering a cryptic message, spending money I don't have on a subway ticket, only to have to stand here and listen to... to... You saw something this afternoon. A waking dream, and you can't explain it. That's why you are here, isn't it? Uh oh. Um... How the hell do you know these things? How the hell do you know these things? It's as plain as the day, Senorita Ryan. You're under a lot of stress. My point about art and truth is this, April. Some things look real, but are not. And other things may appear to be of no consequence at all, but are in fact invaluable. Like Warren's painting here, and your dreams. There is both truth and illusion in dreams, and in the images they create. The problem is in sorting the one from the other. You're telling me my dreams are true? I'm telling you there are things afoot, and that you need help in sorting the truth from the illusions. My help. Well, that figures. Good. I was hoping you'd understand. No, actually. I didn't understand a single word. You talk about art and truth and dreams and illusions, and I still don't understand what it all has to do with me. There are things happening, yes, and I came here because I thought maybe you're crazy enough to believe me, to help me. I don't know, sort through the debris and come up with the plausible explanation. But no, you tell me my dreams might be true, that I need your help, and that there are things afoot. I mean, who says afoot? I've never heard anybody use the word before. There are things afoot. Está bien. I understand your reluctance to believe me, senorita. But I cannot convince you here, now. Meet me tomorrow. What? Meet me tomorrow, and I will tell you everything. Not again. No way. But you will. Because you are compelled to do so by your own curiosity. Because you are drawn to mystery. And because despite your skepticism, you believe I have the answer to all your questions, yes? No. No, I don't care. I just want to have a normal life. No nightmares, no visions, no strangers telling me that things are afoot. Comprende, amigo? Ay, Dios mío. Is that the time? I've got to run, Senorita Ryan. I'll see you tomorrow, then. I've got to get to work, I haven't said... I? Goodbye. Bye. Uh, he's not running, he's walking. It's annoying, but... Okay. Okay. This game is confusing the fuck out of me. Let's read the diary, I guess. Am I gonna have to do that every time the diary updates? Every time we get a tiny little bit further, we're gonna have to read the diary? Hmm. Yeah, we've... Okay, so... Yeah, okay, so he's gonna be like our guide. Uh, listen, April, April, listen to me, right? Um, 
You have to believe me when I tell you this right now. Right now. Listen to everything Cortez tells you. He is... Is... He's like our guide. You, we'll see. We'll see. Come on, let's go to work, I guess. Come on, let's go. I'm here to work, I think. Right. Hi. I'm here to... I'm all scrubbed and ready to work, sir. You'll be on the floor tonight, honey. Start taking orders. Okay. Kind of a futuristic cafe here, right? I should shut up, this is a cutscene. to explain what the hell's going on. Insane or not, he's the only person I can talk to about this. Right. That was a thing that happened.